This illustrates a simplified all-mechanical version of my Frida-Caster reverse trike. It has the ability to transition between Frida-Caster and normal steer modes. I tried to make the mechanics as simple as possible and hopefully not require power assist to lean a human-powered bike with rider. To describe how it works, I'll start off with a four-bar parallelogram, shown in green. The wheel spindles rotate around the uprights. The leaning body of the bike, shown in red, rotates on the axis of the center of the top horizontal bar. The leaning body also has an arm that connects to the lower bar that keeps the bike parallel with the uprights on the sides of the four-bar parallelogram. Added to the top horizontal bar is a vertical bar shown in blue that I call the actuator bar. It rotates at its base on the same axis as the leaning body at the center of the top horizontal bar. On the top of the actuator bar, there is a pinion gear that connects to the steering wheel with a flexible cable, like used on a Ford Pinto steering shaft. When the steering wheel is turned, the pinion gear engages a curved rack that has a radius around the pivot point of the actuator bar. It is the actuator bar that drives both the lean and steer. On the front side of the actuator is a Watts linkage, shown in purple, that connects the uprights of the four bar parallelogram to the actuator bar via a connector that can roll up and down on the actuator bar. I call this rolling connector the transition device. On the back side of the actuator bar, there is a pair of leaf springs that are bolted at the top of the springs to the actuator bar. The bottom of the two springs clamp the pitman arm, shown in orange, that rotates freely around the same axis as the actuator bar. Steering rods connect the pitman arm to the wheel spindles. In Frida caster mode, the springs only lightly push the pitman arm in the direction of steer, allowing the wheels through centrifugal force to caster to the proper angle of steer for the current speed and lean angle of the bike. Adding a damper to the pitman arm may assist in the natural counter steer of free to caster. To transition from free to caster to normal steer, the transition device moves down the actuator from its top position to the bottom. This causes two things to happen simultaneously. The springs that connect the pitman arm progressively clamp the pitman arm to the movement of the actuator bar by the rollers in the transition device as it lowers. And the pivot point of the Watts linkage goes to or close to the pivot point of the actuator bar. This results with the steering being firmly locked to the rotations of the steering wheel and little or no lean of the bike because there is less lateral movement of the watts linkage the closer it is to the axis of the actuator bar. Having the pinion gear at the top of the blue bar gives the most leverage to allow for hopefully no power steering requirements. In addition, I plan to add springs that pull the parallelogram square. This should cause a self-writing effect and hopefully balance out effort between leaning into and away from gravity. For the bicycle, the transition between normal steer and free to caster will be manual because the bike is really intended as a proof of theory for the motorcycle I plan to build, but it could use a hand lever with cables and pulleys to raise and lower the transition device. The motorcycle version will use a small winch motor or hydraulics to raise and lower the transition device. Power steering will also be used to assist leaning effort.